see as an educated youth of Coimbatore, I want politics to be positive and progressive, and I want this politics to help people. I expected the same from Anamali. Unfortunately, he is not reciprocating the same. He suddenly, out of the blue, said uh, that I got admission in PhD college, my undergraduation, BE degree, because of MLA quota. My father died when I was 11 years old, and I joined my diploma in 16 years. I got the best outgoing student award because of which I, may, I was able to get into my BE in PhD College of Technology. And this still continues. Even if you are a best outgoing student in diploma in PhD, you are given a seat in for the higher education. He doesn't know that. I don't know how he's blatantly lying. And that too, my this is it's been 25 years. I'm not with my father. A lot of things I came to know about him was from outside because at 11 years I did not have any clue about life, right? So he has a very good image and people really love and adore him. You cannot accuse him like Kemal Lekota and all those things. It is kind of defaming him, which is not right. Uh, that's what I said. I did not get furious because uh, I thought probably if I put facts and data, a lot of news channels also did fact checking and they said this is wrong. I asked for an apology. He. I don't want to use that word, but I'm forced to use the word, arrogantly said, I cannot ask for an apology. That's not possible. If you media guys want to check, you go and check whether it is right or wrong, which I feel is completely unfair. He will say something. Is it the duty of media to go around and prove? If you are saying something, it is your uh, stand to tell whether it is right or wrong. And then I started seeing why is he doing so. I want to accuse him directly, not to take it personally, but he is a habitual liar. One day he said he read 20,000 books so far. I think he lived only 14,000 odd days of life in this world. He's just 38 years old. How can a guy who lived 14,000 days can read 20,000 books? Number one, lie number one. Number two, he said BJP and I, we will never allow even one brick of Lulu Mall to come to Coimbatur. Nicely, he gave a press meet. Now we have such a big Lulu Mall, people are going happily and they are doing their work. Line number two. Line number three about my father. If you want, I can take more <laughs> such lies. So, Anna Malai equal to lie. Lie equal to Anna Malai. In Tamil, Anna Malai na poi, poi na Anna Malai. This is what he is doing.